Hello, we will look at problem number six of our 3D beginning parts in SolidWorks today. This is the part we'll be working on. So in SolidWorks, we will start a new sketch. We see that the shape of the object is in the front view. So we will use our front plane to start our sketch. And notice that the origin on the PDF is right here in the middle. So here you want to reference the origin. You want to put the origin right there. The outline of this object is a series of lines and arcs. And I've, like I've talked about in class, it's easier to draw circles than it is to draw arcs individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a circle right here with the center at the origin, and I'm going to create a 60 degree diameter circle. So double the radius here. And then I will create the two circles here and here, and also circles on the outside of those that are concentric. And then I will be able to draw in lines connecting the circles and draw in this arc connecting the circles. These will be tangents. So every at every intersection, there is a tangent relation. So from this arc to this line is a tangent. From this line to this arc has a tangent relation. So all around this object, there are tangent relationships. So I'm going to go ahead and move my PDF so that I can start using SolidWorks. And like I said, I'm going to start with a circle and we'll dimension that to 60. Then I will draw two circles down here. Those have a diameter of 15. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my equal relation. So I'm gonna select both of these and choose equal. So now they're both the same size. On my PDF, it tells me that from the center point of this circle to this circle is 55. And I mistyped that. So 55. And again, from here to there, it is 55. And vertically, that is 45. Now notice that this, this circle did not move when I created that dimension. So I could put another 45 unit dimension on the side, but I also could use my relations. So I'm going to control click this center point and this center point, and I will choose horizontal. Now those are lined up. Everything is fully defined. Remember, as you draw, you want to fully define the geometry. So now I'm going to draw larger circles around to smaller ones, which will be trimmed into arcs later on. So these are going to be a diameter of 40, which would be a radius of 20. Again, I will use my uh, control clicking. I will control click both circles and choose equal. So now they are all fully defined. And so now I can draw a line from here to here. I'm going to turn on my sketch relations because I need to know that I have a tangent relationship right here and right here. So I will do the same thing on the other side. Tangent, tangent. And now I, all I have to do is create, a, draw an arc from here to here. 
So when I draw arcs, I have different options. I have center point arc, tangent arc, and three point arc. I know that I want a tangency point when I start. So I'm going to choose tangent arc. I'm going to click. Actually, what I will do is I will use three point arc from here over to here. And I will add the tangent relationship manually. So I can uh, drag click those two and choose tangent. Okay, notice it added the tangent relationship there. I will do the same thing on this side. Tangent. And I have to say how big, how much, what, a, what the radius is of this arc, and it is 80. So now I have the shape, I have all the arcs and circles that I need, and I can trim away what I don't need. So I do not need that's that part, this part, and that part. So now it is completely drawn. The origin is in the center of this arc. Everything is fully defined. I am ready to extrude this object. So I'm going to extrude it 25 units forward. I want the origin to be at the back of the object. So I want to extrude forward in the positive Z. And I will click check mark. OK. There's one last item that I want to show you, and that is that there is a fillet on this edge that runs all the way around. And we can see that right here in our right side view. That edge is curved. It has a fillet with a radius of three. And so what I will do is I will use my feature fillet tool right here. Again, that's three. I will turn on my full preview so that you can see what it will look like before you finalize. And it shows the fillet. Looks good. And we're done. Now, if, again, if we want to add um, color, I can go to my, this is another way I can go edit parents. And notice that it says the fillet. Well, I want the whole part. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to choose the whole part. I can choose orange. The whole product is orange. And I am done and ready to submit on Schoology.